What's up everybody? Welcome back to Milo Outdoors. So today is not just any episode of Milo Outdoors. So today is a special day. Reason being, after a long time of planning, uh, a trip it has come together and today is the day that I leave from Maryland to go after a seek a deer. Never done it before. My uh, godfather has done it, my cousin has done it, and everybody's telling me to go do it. So good friend of mine uh, Chris and I have been planning this trip for about eight months so I'm super stoked that the day is finally here we're starting to work our way down towards Maryland to go get it done now it's time for a little bit of bad news so like I just mentioned my friend Chris and I were supposed to go down together and uh, we were supposed to take his truck now unfortunately a couple days ago he tested positive for COVID so uh, said in prayers his way. He's he's in high hopes and he's feeling he's feeling pretty good. But uh, unfortunately, that means he can't go on the trip. So, what does that mean for me? It means it's now a solo trip, and I had to take my <laughs> Civic and load everything up in it, and I'm going down for a one man show. So, not only is this going to be my first out of state hunt or my first hunt for Seek a Deer in general, it's all going to be solo too. So. A little nervous but mainly excited um so hopefully uh you know everything all this planning goes together the plan is to get down there uh, i think it's about two hours from where i'm at now we uh i stopped at cabela's real quick to grab a couple stuff a couple of uh, a couple things for the trip so uh we'll be there in about two hours and uh my plan is to hit up some of the reserve or um yeah the reserve to do a little bit of light scouting that uh i can do kind of from the roads and stuff just so I don't go in completely blind tomorrow morning for my first hunt. So uh, just hang in there, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm super excited. Hope you guys are too. And I will see you guys in Maryland. Peace. So, we made it. We're, uh, we're finally out here in Maryland. We're stopped at the uh, first unit that I want to scout out, um, possibly for tomorrow's uh, hunt. And uh, I can tell already this is going to be really different. <laughs> it's literally marsh with uh, pines and uh, real thick phragmite grass, which is to be expected these things live in the marsh so we're here I'm excited it's definitely different so I go uh, take a walk see if we can find any signs see if we can find a spot for tomorrow and uh, hope we get out after them
Sí. Holy shit, guys. Maryland. Day one. Seek a, de seek a deer, honey. And I just kill a stag. Holy smokes. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Day one, baby. Day one. First seek a deer. I'm up here panicking, thinking I'm not going to be able to get one because I had some issues with my bow this morning. But we got it done. Yes. I can't believe this. This is awesome. I'm battling the wind. My camera arm is blowing all over the place. I can't believe that just happened. That is awesome. All right, hang on one second, guys. I'm gonna get this camera situated. All right. I had to get the uh, the camera arm taken care of real quick because this wind is blowing this thing all over the place. But I'm so so pumped right now. It's not even funny. My first time ever. Been in Maryland, seek a deer hunting, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's a three-pointer. I've listen. If it, if it was a stag and it came in, I was going to take it. This is my first time ever doing this, and uh, it is awesome. It is awesome. I was, like I said earlier, I was having issues with my bow. So on the way in, I tried to cut through some woods um, to try to get on the other side of the marsh. And it was just too thick, and it wound up, I didn't realize it, but it wound up catching my bow uh, qu uh, release. I'm sorry, my bow, uh, my rest. And uh, I wasn't able to get the the uh, the uh, rest to go up in the up position. So I had to do some bow maintenance real quick in the tree. And it is, uh, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It is 6.53 on my first day out here. And I'm shaking like a leaf right now. I'm surprised I even heard him. It's so windy. I heard one little branch break to my right, and I looked up, and he was coming right my way. And that's a 10-yard shot. My legs. I don't know if you can see that. Going like crazy. All right. I'm going to stay up in the tree a little bit. He's done, he's down. Um, there's another guy hunting next to me, so uh, a little bit down the down this uh, marsh. So out of respect, I'm just gonna stay in my stand for a little bit. Um, see if any, see behind, walks by. Behind walks by, I got two more tags for it, so. Let's go, Maryland 20, 21, let's do it. guys so as you can see day one we got it done with my first ever Sika deer pretty happy he's a three-pointer so nice uh, he's nice and tall which is good I'm super stoked um, like I said I didn't come out here with high expectations I've never done this before I've never hunted out this way I've never ever hunted for these guys so I can't be grateful enough that uh, this guy right here gave me an opportunity to get a shot at him um, this morning at about 10 yards and he didn't go nowhere. So um, this has been a journey already and it's only been day one. So, but it's not over. Um, I still have two hind tags uh, that I can get. Um, 
and also possibly I have a white tail tag as well I gotta make sure they're in season first but um, I definitely can shoot two more hinds so that's cool this this, this guy's gonna taste awesome so I'm super excited to finally get one on the ground it's been a long time coming it's been uh, in it's been planned for about eight months now so wish Chris was here but uh, I called him as soon as I killed him uh, this morning and he was super stoked so and he wound up getting a doe back at home as well so um, hang in there guys hopefully there'll be some more uh, seek a deer content heading to the channel I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, hanging in there with us thank you